My name is uh, Katrine Raben Davidson. I'm a Danish artist um, and um, I have worked with Royal Copenhagen for the past five years. They have a long tradition um, for working with artists to create unique pieces of art. First and foremost, it was like um, going into a conversation with like a 240-year-old lady, and this lady is the blue-fluted lady. So um, it's not something that's very uncommon for me to, to go back into the history, because I do use a lot of um, references to art historical um, works works of art and I also really like to go into um, mythologies and folk tales and, and you know trying to build a story around this particular blue pattern, um, blue fluted pattern was, was not foreign to me. So the blue fluted pattern is for me symbolizes very much the DNA of uh, Royal Copenhagen but yet at the same time for me connecting it to my own work it also is like a vein or a, a spiral or a branch of a tree and the amazing thing about this is like the tree has its roots uh, firmly uh, integrated into the history or the, the ground yet points towards the future and that is very much the essence of my work taking something from the past and bringing it giving it a new life in a sense working with this litter stone compared to working on the actual porcelain there is like a connection in a sense but um, but I mean the porcelain is, is is of course very fragile and many things can go wrong in the firing of this uh, of the material where the litter stone is like it's 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 uh, weighs two or three hundred kilos for for one stone so it's 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 very different both surfaces are very soft and smooth um, but you can really work into the to the little stone and uh, at the same time I really wanted to even though it's 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 hard work working with the stone I wanted in my prints to have the delicacy of the porcelain uh, and the transparency that that for me, porcelain is about transparency and lightness as well. So, um, so it was important for me in the prints that you could see the transparency and the delicateness as well. I have uh, enjoyed working with the uh, edition and I'm really getting into trying new techniques at this uh, workshop and they have pushed me into going into new directions, which is uh, very inspirational.